Ugh, that girl needs to stop already with the awful music. 261.25. That means we're $239.75 short of today's goal. No, I thought we made more than that. The money doesn't lie. We're not gonna be able to keep our doors open if that's all we sell. I don't know what to tell you, boss. Business is just slow today. Yeah. It's probably all because of her. I'm dreaming big, I'm flying high. One day I'm gonna touch the sky. I'm sailing straight, you're gonna see I'm gonna catch my dreams. Did you like it? I loved it. Aww. Well, here. Go tell her then. Here you go. Thanks, buddy. I hope it's okay my son was recording you. He is obsessed with making TikTok videos. No worries at all. I still have to figure that app out for myself. I hear there's a lot of musicians on there. Yeah? Well, Tommy wants to be a musician one day. In fact, he asked Santa for a guitar this year. Is that so? Well, Tommy, if Santa brings you a guitar, I'd be happy to give you free lessons. How's that sound? <laughs> That sounds awesome. Really? You, you would teach him? I would be happy to pay for it. Not necessary. It'd be my pleasure. I'm Gwen, by the way. Hey, Gwen. I'm Michelle, and of course this is Tommy. It's a pleasure to meet you. And we may take you up on that offer. <laughs> you know, Gwen, keep doing what you're doing. Thank you. Now I can get lunch and dinner. I really appreciate it. Happy holidays. You too. Happy holidays. Are these in LA? Yeah. Okay. Look, just take those donuts. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. Woo. Can I get um, a cup of coffee, please, and a dozen donuts? Sure. Assorted is fine. It's from oh, my office. Okay. Do you want anything, honey? Oh yeah, um, can I get a, um, oh, a chocolate bar? And one chocolate bar, please. Okay. All right, uh, that'll be 9.50. Okay, here you go. Uh, sorry, we're cash only. Oh, um, okay, I, I don't have much cash on me today. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I gave my last $10 to that sweet girl out there. Oh. Uh, uh, all right, well, no problem. Have a nice day. Okay, um, sorry, honey. Yeah, it's all right, Mom. See, I told you it was because of her. She's the issue this thing. Hey, can I please leave? You have a lot of nerve walking in here. I'm sorry? You've been driving people away all day? I, I didn't realize. You're stealing my customers and my tips. You think this even begins to cover the money you've lost us? Listen, I'm just trying to earn a few bucks. By begging? How pathetic. Why don't you go out and get a real job? This is a real job. I don't want to hear it. This is the fee for playing outside my shop and making me lose business. Now leave. But sir, please, please I'm I mean... now, before I call the cops and tell them you're loitering. That was a great set. Thanks. I'm Troy. Gwen. Is, is everything all right? It's nothing. The donut guy giving you trouble? He charged me a fee for driving away customers. You're kidding. 
It's been slow around here for months. If, if anything, you probably brought in some customers. Well, he doesn't think that. Took my last 10 bucks that I had to eat with. No. Why did you let him do that? He said he was gonna call the cops on me for loitering. No way. Only the owner of the complex can do that. You're allowed to be here. Don't pay any attention to his, to his empty threats. Okay, well, I don't know any of this stuff. I'm only doing this so I can make a little bit of money to eat. And I can't even do that. You know what? Try one of the best dogs in the city. I don't have any money to pay for it. <laughs> don't worry about it. It's on the house. You've blessed me with the most beautiful music this past hour. It's the least I can do. Please. Thank you. I really appreciate it. So, how long have you been playing? Guitar? Forever. But I only just started playing in front of people. That's probably why it sounds so bad. <laughs> no, it didn't sound bad at all. It sounded great. Thanks. Probably would have sounded better if I didn't have such a crappy guitar. This one's so old. At least you have a guitar. That's more than some people have. So, what made you want to start playing in front of other people now? Desperation more than anything. I've always dreamed of playing in front of crowds, but I never had the courage to actually quit my job. Recently, I got laid off. So I was thinking, this is my chance. It was clearly a mistake. I now have no home and no money. I'm so sorry. But please don't be so hard on yourself. Accomplishing anything great takes time. You know, one day I want to have a storefront, but we all have to start somewhere, right? Yeah, you're right. Hang in there. It will all work out. Thank you so much. Bless you. Hey, what are you doing sleeping here? This is private property. I must have overslept. You shouldn't be sleeping here at all. I know, it's just the shelters are all full since it's so cold out. Always an excuse with you. First is you just need money. Now it's the weather. People like you are the reason this neighborhood is going downhill. I'm sorry. It won't happen again, I promise. Better not. When? Don't tell me you slept outside. Ah, uh, yeah, I did. Jesus, freezing. Here, to keep you warm. No, I can't accept that. I haven't showered since God knows when. I'd hate to ruin your coat. It's not my coat. It's yours. I have others. Besides, my grill keeps me plenty warm. Wow, okay. Thanks, again. You're welcome, it looks great. You know, come to think of it, my girl would keep you warm too. Why don't you bring your stuff over and play by me? That way you won't have to worry about Mr. Donut Chop Guy bothering you. I'd love that. Great. So, what songs are you gonna play today? I don't know, I usually just play whatever comes to mind. Why, you got any special requests? Oh, um, do you know Living on a Prayer? Bon Jovi? Yeah. It's like my all time favorite. Let's hear it. Tommy used to work on the docks. <laughs> That's so great. Do you write any of your own stuff too? Yeah, I've written a lot of songs. I'm actually working on one right now, I just can't seem to figure out the ending. Can I hear it? 
Oh, gosh, no way. Come on. I'm sure it's amazing. Please. Oh, fine. But only because you gave me your coat. And a hot dog. That's true. <laughs> Grew up in a small town. Climb my way out to escape. Abandoned in my pageant crown. Couldn't handle being that fake. Off to the big city to teach myself what life means to me. Bear my heart for everyone. You just watch what I become. Uh, sorry, I know it's so bad. Say what now? That was incredible. I mean, it was really short, but it's really good. You're just being nice, but I appreciate it. <laughs> Hey, I gotta run to the car and grab some more buns. Would you mind watching the cart for a sec? Yeah, sure. Thanks. What did I say about playing outside my shop? I'm technically not in front of your shop. Yes, you are. I can still hear you. I need you to leave. I'm not bothering you at all. You're driving away my customers. My shop's low enough as it is. I don't need you making it worse. That is not true. Look, unless the complex owner tells me to leave, I'm not going anywhere. Oh, you want me to call the owner? Fine. Hey, give me back my guitar! I'm serious, give it back! You want it back? No problem. Happened. The donut shop guy broke my guitar. I don't know what to do. Unbelievable. What's your problem, man? I can't believe you broke her guitar. I did everyone here a favor. You should be thanking me. What I should be doing is calling the cops on you. Go ahead. I'll just say I didn't do it. Who are they going to believe? A business owner or some homeless girl? <laughs> you really something, you know that? Karma's gonna come back and get you big time. Now you will excuse me, I have a business to run. <sighs> excuse me. Gwen. I should have just kept looking for another job. I don't know what I was thinking, trying to play guitar. Please, don't talk like that. I'm thankful for everything you've given me, but it's time to get back to the real world. Stop chasing these silly little dreams. You can't just give up. This is what you always wanted to do, right? And look where that got me. Broke, homeless, and now guitarless. Even if I wanted to keep playing, there's no way I can. Watch my hot dog card. I'll be back. But I don't know how to make hot dogs. It's fine, just make sure no one takes anything. Wait, why are you taking my guitar? Where are you going? Troy! Excuse me? Can I bother you for a hot dog, please? I'm sorry, the, the owner's not here right now. I'm just watching the cart. Uh, you can try again later, though. Okay, thanks. Have a nice day. Hey, Gwen. Hi. We were hoping we would see you here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't tell me. Santa brought you a guitar? <laughs> and he can't stop talking about guitar lessons. We were hoping you would teach him. I don't know. To tell you the truth, I don't even know if I'm going to be playing anymore. What? Why? It's a long story. 
but I'm sure you'll do great without me. Just start with some YouTube videos, okay? But I really wanted to learn from you. Look, Gwen, is there anything I can do to convince you? I would gladly compensate you for your time. It's not even that. I just, I don't have a guitar anymore, and I don't know oh, how to... yeah? Here you go. You bought me a new guitar? Consider it a Christmas gift. I can't accept this. It's way too much. You know, when you play, you bring me new customers. So, you're actually doing me a favor. You're just being nice. There's no way that's true. Oh, no, it's true. Excuse me, sir. I need to get a dozen hot dogs for my office, please. And you can keep the change. Are you serious? You see, that guitar is the best investment I ever made. You have to take it. What about the donut shop guy? He's probably just gonna try to break this one too. No, this time I'm not leaving your side. Believe me, he won't say anything while I'm around. Wait a minute. The donut shop guy broke your guitar? Yeah, that guy's giving her a really hard time for playing here. Oh, no, 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 no. Gwen, I'm a lawyer and you have every right to play here as long as it doesn't violate the noise ordinance, which doesn't even apply to commercial property. If he does anything else to you at all, I will personally sue him. Yeah, you see, you got the muscle and the law protecting you. You really have nothing to worry about. Uh, I don't know. Yes, I really want to learn. Gosh, now you're making it hard. If I teach him, I'm not taking your money. I'm just doing it to help, that's all. Okay, Gwen, fine. But, um, I have a better proposal. You wanted to learn TikTok, right? Yeah. Well, Tommy will teach you TikTok, and then you can teach him guitar. It's a win-win. Oh. <laughs> and I sell more hot dogs. It's a win, win, win. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't say no to that. Oh, please. All right, all right, fine. <sighs> One day, I'm gonna get you a really nice present. I don't know what or when, but I will, I promise. That's the last thing I'm worried about. And with that, Gwen is excited to start playing again. She teaches Tommy everything she knows about the guitar. And in exchange, he helps her start her own TikTok account. At first, she wasn't really getting any views. But as time went on, Gwen started getting more and more popular. Her following quickly grew as more people discovered her and loved the way she played guitar. She kept on playing at the plaza. She started with performing in front of small crowds, and then those small crowds turned into bigger crowds. Eventually, she even started selling out her own shows. Is it beauty and a beat can make my life complete. Thank you. Thank you. I can't tell you how great it feels to be playing in front of all of you. Believe it or not, this time last year, I was homeless. Now I'm selling out shows. Life can be really unpredictable. 
in a beautiful way. This next song is dedicated to Tommy, a young man who taught me everything I know about TikTok. So give it up for Tommy. If it weren't for him, none of you would probably even know who I am. So thank you. And also to Troy, who makes the best hot dogs in the city. He's over at the Plaza on Grand, so please go support him. Without him, I wouldn't even have a guitar to play with. Thank you. This song, I've been working on it for so long, couldn't figure out the ending, till now. Grew up in a small town, climb my way out to escape. Abandoned in my pageant crown, couldn't handle being that fake. Off to the big city to teach myself what life means to me. Bear my heart for everyone. You just watch what I become. I'm dreaming big, I'm flying high. One day I'm gonna touch the sky. Sailing straight, you're gonna see I'm gonna catch my dreams. So, you finally finished the missing lyrics, huh? I just needed a little inspiration. That was all. Well. I can't tell you how proud I am of you. You know, when you started- Hi, Gwen. I'm so sorry to bother you. I'm a reporter with the DM Times. Beautiful set tonight. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome. I heard the story about the hot dog shop owner. It was so heartwarming. Is it true that you wouldn't have your guitar if it wasn't for Troy? Yes, and <laughs> this is actually him. <gasps> it's nice to meet you. Hi. He literally gave me the coat off his back when I was struggling, and he bought me this. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't even be playing anymore. Oh, she would have made it with or without me. Oh, that is such a sweet story. Can I get a picture of you two? I'm writing a piece about it. Of course. <laughs> Got it, thank you so much. And Troy, you have a shop on the plaza at Grand? It's not a shop, it's a hot dog stand, but, but yes. That's not true. Excuse me, what are you talking about? You know how I said I'd give you a present one day? Yeah. Well, well, it took me a while, but better late than never, right? What's this? You know how the donut shop guy went out of business a couple weeks ago? Yeah, I asked about running that spot. He said it was already taken. That's because I got it for you. First year's rent is paid. Merry Christmas, Troy. No way. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is so beautiful. And to think just over a year ago, you were homeless, Gwen. Is there anything that you want to say to any of your fans out there that may be struggling with their dreams? Yes. As a wise person once told me, hang in there. Accomplishing anything great takes time. Well, looks like people love the article. I know. <laughs> Oh my God, it's Gwen. Hi. Oh my God, we love you. Yeah, and thanks for the recommendation. They're the best. I know, right? You are welcome. Have a great one, you guys. You too. <laughs> also the hot dogs, of course. Excuse me, would you guys mind if I played here? I'm trying to get some money so I can eat. Not at all. Go ahead and set up, and I'll go get you a hot dog. Really? Wow, thank you so much. Hey, can we get a picture with you? Yeah, of course. who usually plays at Darla's, right? Yeah. Hey, you're really good. Thanks. I'm actually on my way over there right now. Looks like you got some competition. Good luck. Excuse me, uh, this is my spot. Your spot? Um, so like you, you own this corner? Something like that. I, I'm actually friends with the owners of the restaurant. Oh. Okay, so this literally isn't your spot. Anyone can play here. Well, 
Not just anyone, only musicians with real talent. Well, in that case, you can find somewhere else to play. Oh, please, no one wants to listen to violin. You sound like you're taking us down with the Titanic. I'll let my music speak for itself, thank you. Okay, so now you're starting to cost me. Those should be my tips. Look, lady, Mary. I, I'm normally a nice guy, so I'm gonna give you one more chance. Pack up your stuff and leave. Or what? No, this is my spot. You need to find somewhere else to go. No, this has really good foot traffic and I need this money. Oh, and I don't? I probably need the money 10 times more than you do. I highly doubt that. You don't know me or my situation. Trust me, whatever your situation is, mine is worse. <laughs> Ooh, you're sounding good. That's my favorite guitarist. Hey. I whipped you up some fries for Edgar. Take home for him. Go. Yeah, you didn't have to do that. Hey, no, it's no worries at all. No worries. And, uh, excuse me, you must be the new violinist that all my customers are raving about. Wow. Do you two know each other? Like, are you, uh, I, are you... Uh, no. She is actually out here causing trouble. You should call the cops on her. <laughs> you funny. You're funny. I'm sorry. My name is Mo. I own the diner with my wife. Nice so to meet you, Mo. Nice to meet you, too. Y you don't mind me playing here? Oh, you can play here for as long as you like. It's perfectly fine. I mean, if you are half as good as this guy right here, I mean, my customers are going to love you. She's not as good as me. I'm actually a little bit better than him. Oh, I hear challenge. Well, let's hear. <laughs> Mary, Miss Mary, wow. Mo Feel free to play here anytime, yeah? This is my spot. She needs to leave. Oh, come on now. I mean, we're all adults. We can figure this thing out, right? I mean, like they say, the more the merry er. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're real clever. Hey, look, I don't mind either one of you being out here, okay? As long as we don't have a problem if you do play nice. So, play nice, okay? Play nice. Nice. Oh, hey, painters. You guys are doing great. I mean, you guys are so quick. Wow. Stop, great job. Mo. Hey, play nice, okay? Okay. All right. Thanks, Mo. <laughs> Thanks, Mo. No problem. <laughs> What is it now? Those tips should be mine. You're lucky I want to keep a good relationship with Mo, because if he weren't around, I would break your violin in half. Okay, tough guy. Here's a tip. Get here earlier next time. Until then, back off. Ah, uh, you? 
was hoping I'd never have to see you again. And I was hoping to use this spot. Can't you set up somewhere else? Uh, no. I took your advice and got here early. Looks like you're the one out of luck. I followed you where you would go, but I don't know why you left me here. And so I followed. Did you really have to bring an amp? Louder is better. Thank you. Thanks so much. Hey. Guitar Hero. How long are you planning on staying out here? Oh, well, like all night. All night? Uh, yeah, I got to make up for yesterday. I didn't even make over a dime. Just a nickel. You really seriously can't find anywhere else to play. No, I either get kicked out or ignored. This is my spot. I plan on keeping it. Okay, well what about me? I'm not gonna make anything because you're totally drowning me out. Oh, don't see how it's my problem? Dude, seriously. Okay, dude. Look. For the first time in a super long time yesterday, I actually didn't have to sleep in my car. And it was all thanks to the tips that I made right here. I'm sorry, but at least you have a car. I have to walk here five miles every day. Plus, I've got a little brother back home that I've got to help feed. He depends on me. I'm all he's got. Well, at least you have a home. I, I wish that I had somewhere that I could take a shower or... I don't want to argue about this. You want me to feel sorry for you? Fine. Here's a nickel. Now get lost. <laughs> oh, are you the girl that plays the violin here? My husband was telling me about you yesterday. Yeah, I, I, I was, but it looks like I'm gonna have to find a different corner because there isn't space for both of us here. Oh no, that's not true. <laughs> Jared's been playing his music here for a long time and we love having him here. But everyone loves to hear a new sound. I'm sure you two can work something out. Yeah, it, it just seems like Jared's kind of type of guy who only looks out for himself. So I've gotta look out for myself, but it was really nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too. Hi, sweetie. Nice. There she goes, violin girl, walking away from my space, my space, my space, my space, oh my space, my space, oh. You can't be serious. Real mature. Two can play at that game. Yep. It's gonna take a lot more than that to get rid of me. You're scaring off the customers with your awful music. Okay, if anyone's music is awful, it's yours. Stop! Stop! Is this what you two call music? because I call it trying to keep up the most noise. Sorry, Mo. Now, I said I don't mind if either one of you play here, but, but this right here, it's ridiculous. You're scaring off my customers. She started it. Well, he wouldn't share. This is my story. Would you stop it? You two sound worse than my children. So children, give each other's instruments back, OK? Come on. You can do it. There you go. Good. Now gather your things so we can go inside and talk like adults. 
Something tells me you two can use a warm meal. <sighs> so, Jared, how's Edgar doing? He's hanging in there. Um, you know, as long as we have food, we'll be all right. I bet. Mary, how are you doing, sweetheart? Well, besides sleeping in my car, not so great. Hey, it beats sleeping on the streets. You know, Mo used to be just like you two. He was hustling every day, trying to make a dollar. He was selling his hot dogs out there to construction workers, wheeling around his little cart as a kitchen. And then he met me. I owned the deli across the street. He was taking some of my customers. He was tough competition too. I was mad. <laughs> but then I realized he was kind of cute. So how did you guys stop competing with each other? Okay, I was getting to that. One day, he asked me to partner up with him. He would make the hot dogs and I'd make the sandwiches. And then we have our little restaurant together. 10 years later, here we are. <laughs> you know what they say, if you can't beat them, join them. That's so cute. <laughs> oh, thank you. I was hoping it would rub off on you two. Are you suggesting we fall in love with each other? Oh, no, not at all. <laughs> but look where working together can get you. You know, they always say team stands for together. Everyone achieves more. Maybe that's something that can benefit both of you. A team? Well, in your case, a duet. <laughs> hey, check out those guys out there. Just think how hard it would be to move all that lumber by yourself. And even the guys putting up the marquee, without one holding up the other, they couldn't get the job done. Uh, Pam, uh -huh. I'm sorry to interrupt, but there's a problem with the fryer. I was wondering if you could fix it. Okay, I'll be right there. All right. See, I take care of the kitchen, Mo takes care of the customers. We couldn't run this restaurant without working together. And there's no reason why you two can't do the same. You want me to work with her? No thanks. I'd rather walk a hundred miles on hot gravel. I would rather sleep in my car for the rest of my life than work with this guy. Okay, keep your voices down, all right? Listen, we love having you guys here. I mean, you're even good for business, but not when you're fighting each other. So you two have to find a way to get along if you want to play here. Pam, I was here first. No, Mo and I were here first. This is our establishment, and we're not gonna have you claim in the street for yourself, Jared. Look, there has to be some kind of way for you to work together, some kind of compromise. Maybe we could take shifts every other day? Oh, that won't work. I can't afford to take a day off. Um, what if one of us worked in the evenings and then one later that night? That depends on the parking signs. I really can't afford to get my car towed. Oh, what if we alternate Songs? Like you play a song, I play a song. Sounds complicated, but I guess it's worth a shot. Okay, okay. See, now we're getting somewhere. You have options. Oh, well, we can try it. But if you dip into my tips, we're gonna have a problem. Well, don't blame me if I get more tips than you if people like my music better than yours. Um, I was doing just fine before you came along, oh, so I think guys, so. Guys, you're getting worked up again. Just try each other's ideas and see if it works. Otherwise, I hate to say it, neither one of you can come back. Pam, come on. I... No, no, I will not have a repeat of what happened here today. So figure it out. And we won't have to have that combo. Okay? Okay. I gotta go. Thank you for the food. Yeah, appreciate it. Jared and Mary reluctantly agree to start working together. First, they try alternating days. While Jared plays in front of the restaurant, Mary finds another spot. 
And when Mary plays at the restaurant, Jerry goes elsewhere. But they both quickly learn that they don't make as much money playing anywhere else and they keep running into problems. Their next option is to alternate mornings and afternoons. That seems to be going all right until they realize on the days Mary has to work afternoons, her car gets ticketed. And when Jared has to work afternoons, his little brother sleeping by the time he gets home. With nothing else working, they try sharing the corner with each performing one song at a time. This sucks. I thought you said you weren't going to get jealous if I got more tips than you. I didn't realize you'd hog the spotlight. Your songs are way too long, and they're terrible. I bet you could never play the songs I play. Um, I wouldn't want to. Your songs are trash. Hey, it's my turn to play. <laughs> really? Really? What are you trying to do? Ruin my song? We're supposed to be alternating. You totally cut me off. That's because your songs take way too long to finish. I bet we wouldn't even get tips if it weren't for me. You two need to stop arguing. People seem to tip more when you guys are playing together. What? Yeah, look. Whoa. I've never made this much here. Yeah, me neither. Huh. Do you, do you think it's because we... No. Could it be? I mean, it, it sounded pretty cool. Do you think that m maybe we should try playing a song together? I'm down if you're down. All right. Okay, why don't you start and I'll follow you. Okay. Uh... You too? It really was. You guys sound even better together. Thanks. I I think you're right. You know, you sounded so good that I'm gonna give you twenty dollars. Thank you, Mo. <laughs> yeah, but you know, I don't seem to have any change. Uh, is there any way you two could split it? Yeah, I was gonna tip you both too, but all I have is a five. Maybe we could combine our tips and, and split them after? Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Yeah. Okay. Okay, uh... Thank you. Thanks, Wow. 
<laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Pat. Wow. <laughs> All right, I, th I, I think I'd better head out. Let me split these up. So soon? Uh, yeah, there's rain coming. I, I don't want to get caught in it. Okay. Well, I'll see you here same time tomorrow? Yeah. You can count on it. Hey, Jared? Yeah? Would you actually maybe like a ride home? No, no, I, I don't want to be in any trouble. Honestly. No, 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 it's seriously no trouble at all. It beats having to walk five miles. We had fun today. No, oh, we did. Sure. Okay, cool, I'm just gonna grab my stuff. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. All right, well, I can pick you up tomorrow if you'd like. That sounds amazing. Have a great night, Mary. Do you want to come in? You can stay with us for a while. We don't have an extra bed, but uh, we have a couch. It's the least I could do. That would be really great, actually. You know what? I think Pam and Mo were right. Being a team does make a lot of sense. Together, everyone achieves more. All right, that'll be 250. I thought I had more. <laughs> Let me check. All right. I only have dollar fifty. I'm so sorry. Wait. Don't worry about it, okay? I got you. Oh, really? Yeah. Thank you so much. What are you doing, Sammy? I'm, I'm just helping this man. Yeah, he... give me that. We're in the business of selling food, not giving it away. Now you can come back when you have the exact 250. But sir, I'm trying to feed my son, please. He hasn't eaten in days. Please. Yeah, right. You probably don't even have a son. What? You know what, get out of here. Get out of here, or I call the police. I was just in my tip money. Let me ask you something. Is this your hot dog stand? <sighs> no, it's mine. And it costs a lot of money to open up one of these. And I don't need homeless people lined up begging for free handouts because Sammy the Samaritan works here. All right, I'll be back when I take out the trash. Take this with you. This is so much food. What do you want me to do, man? Business has been slow and we can't sell day old hot dogs. What if we gave these to some homeless people? You know, you're not too bright, are you, kid? You know, if people found out that we were giving away old food, they're not gonna buy any of our new food. All right, so stop asking dumb questions and throw it away. Yeah. Excuse me, sir. Could you please help me feed my son? Please. We haven't eaten anything yet. Please help us out. I'm so sorry. I don't have anything on me. Dad, I'm so hungry. Don't worry, baby. We'll eat soon. I promise. Hey, look, I know your son's hungry, so. And you can take one for yourself, too, okay? My goodness. God bless you. You have no idea what this means to us. Look, Mom. That guy from David's Socks is giving them some food. Hi. Uh, would you like a hot dog too? Yes. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Hey, Sammy, what are you doing? I told you to throw those things away. Look, I'm sorry, I just felt bad. These aren't your hot dogs, these are mine, and I get to decide what I want to do with them. I know, but look, doesn't it make you feel good? Knowing that you fed some hungry people instead of just throwing them away. No, that's good for them, what does it do for me? Well, I've always believed that the good you put out into the world always finds a way of getting back to you. You see, when I was a kid, my mom and I were homeless. We were so poor that a lot of days we didn't even have any food to eat. 
But whenever things would get really bad, we knew we could always count on a kind restaurant owner to help us. He always gave us food whenever we were really hungry. And because that kind man helped so many people, word quickly spread and customers came in droves to support him. The kindness he put out into the world came back to him. So you see, it's always good to be kind to people. Just trust me. Trust you? You can't even follow simple instructions. How could I possibly trust you? Look, sir, I... Do you own this hot dog stand, Sammy? No. But you know what? It is a dream of mine to one day have my own hot dog stand so that I can feed other people. Wow. And how are you magically going to make that happen? It costs 25 grand to even start one. How are you going to put enough money together when you love to give everything away for free? You're right. I'm sorry. Sorry's not gonna cut it. Now you can come in tomorrow and you can pick up your last check. Because you are fired. No, please, sir, you don't understand. I need this. How am I supposed to pay my bills? Maybe you'll think twice about disobeying your boss. And don't think that I'm not gonna deduct those hot dogs from your pay. Please. Now throw it away! And you are the David, as in David's dogs, correct? Yes, I am, and this is my company. Hey, here you go, bud. Thanks. Let me get you some change. Keep the change. The work you're doing is really incredible. Well, thank you, man. I appreciate that. So was it your idea to use leftover hot dogs to feed the homeless? I... Oh, hang on. I just got news that a GoFundMe has been set up and a lot of money has already been donated. A lot of money? Yes. So this was all your idea then? Yes. Of course, it, this was all my idea. I mean, I really enjoy helping people. You see, it's- Yo, that's the homeless dad and son from the video. <laughs> How did it feel having David help you and your son? David? He didn't help me. He yelled at me. <gasps> what are you talking about? Didn't- this man feed you? Are you kidding me? He fired his employee for feeding us. <gasps> Is that true? Uh, Sammy! Hey, Sammy, Sammy boy. How's it going? Oh, come on, you crazy guy. <laughs> Just tell him about this little misunderstanding. He's the one who really helped us. What is going on? Well, someone uploaded a video of you on TikTok feeding the homeless, and it's already gotten over three million views. People absolutely love the work you and your company are doing. But... I don't have a company anymore. I got fired yesterday. What? You fired him? Why would you do that? It was a joke. Come on, you little rascal. You, you don't get my sense of humor. No. Yesterday you were yelling at me because I was giving away free hot dogs instead of throwing them into the trash, and then you fired me. Oh, I am so not supporting you. Where are you going? Hey, don't leave. Shame. <laughs> You're just gonna leave like that? Well, that was interesting. This is Caitlin Keurig signing off. Cut. That was crazy. Seriously, and I thought I'd seen it all. Good luck. Take care. Hey, Mom, there he is. It's you. Do I know you? My son's the one that uploaded the video of you helping all those people yesterday. Yeah, what you did was awesome. Thank you. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Still didn't stop me from getting fired, though. You got fired? No. That's not fair. I'm so sorry. What are you going to do now? I don't know. I do want to get my own hot dog stand, but... Just, I don't have enough money. I'll figure it out. See you later. Wait, wait, uh, what about the GoFundMe, Marcus? Oh yeah, hold on. You have $30,000. <laughs> wait, what are you talking about? People from all around the world saw what you did, and they've been donating money to you. Wait, wait, are you serious? I have $30,000? Well, to be exact. <laughs> $30,220. <laughs> I can't believe it. You, 
You don't understand how much this is going to change my life. Thank you both. So, you got your job back, huh? Actually, I bought the hot dog stand. Yeah, it's now Sammy Sausages. Wow, I love it. Two dollars, 50 cents. This time, I have enough. <laughs> Here, just keep it. This one is on the house, okay? Here's one for you too. You have a real heart of gold. Thank you. Hey, what do you say? Thank you. <laughs> of course. <laughs> well, if this story teaches us anything, it's the good you put out into the world always has a way of coming back to you. And cut. Okay, what should we do for lunch? I don't know. How about a hot dog? <laughs> Dad, I'm so hungry. Okay. Let's get you a hot dog. <laughs> Hey, Ivan. Harold! Did you get us a hot dog? Oh. Uh, never mind. I don't, I don't have enough. But I really want a hot dog. Uh, I'm so sorry, son. After I get a job, I promise you will never be hungry again. Okay? Okay. Hey, you know what? Don't worry about it. This one's on me. No, you, you got it last time. I know business has been tough on you, and I can't ask you to do it again. <laughs> it's okay. I might not have a lot of customers, but it's better than being hungry. Besides, I've always believed that the kindness you put out into the world has a way of coming back to you. There you go. It's okay, take it. Thank you so much, Ivan. Can't tell you how much I appreciate this. I got an interview with Giovanni's, and once I get the job, I promise I'll pay you back soon. Giovanni's? Woohoo, that's the most popular place in town. Good luck. And hey, if you want, Ruben can just wait here until your interview's over. You're the best. I'll never forget this. I'll be right back, okay? Okay, good luck. <laughs> yeah. Have a seat. I'm sorry, sir. We don't allow homeless. I'm here for a job interview, actually. The owner, Giovanni's expecting me. Would you grab him for me? Um, sure. Sir, there's someone here to see you. Enjoy your meal. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, what's happening? Uh, you know we don't allow homeless people in the restaurant, right? I tried to tell him but he says he's here for an interview with you. Uh, no. The applicant who I am interviewing used to run a Kitchland Star restaurant, okay? Yes, sir, that, that was me. I used to run Harold's restaurant. You see? <laughs> Come on, you're telling me that you used to run a restaurant? Get real. Will you get rid of this joker, please? No, look, look, here's my resume. I've been running kitchens my whole life. I just ran into some hard times recently after my, after my wife passed away. That's why I look like this. But I promise, if you give me a chance. You know what? I can't believe that you would go so far as to make up a fake resume and a fake story just to get a job. You know what? I'm not gonna fall for your little scam, and I am not going to allow anybody else to fall for it either. No, sir, please, please. I'm just trying to feed my son. Take a look at this restaurant. You see how busy it is? You have to wait weeks in order to get a reservation here. And I did not get to where I am in life by being a fool. But I can do yeah. this. Leave. Now, before I call the cops. Okay. Do you get the job? Uh, no, son. I'm really sorry. But I'm gonna think of something. I promise. I don't understand. Why didn't they give you the job? You have so much experience. Well, let's just say they took one look at me and the interview was over. Look, I don't want you to think I'm not going to pay you back for those hot dogs. Harold, Harold, no, that is the last thing you have to worry about. Thank you for everything, Ivan. I'll be back to see you soon. Come on, son. Let's go. 
But, Dad, you haven't eaten all day. What are you going to do? I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. Hey, wait. Why don't you come work for me? You said yourself you don't have enough customers. You don't need any additional expenses. Well, no, I, I can't pay a salary, but suppose you take a 20% commission for all the hot dogs that you sell. Won't be much, but it'll be something. Really? Are you sure about this? Yeah. And you know what? As a signing bonus, why don't you have that hot dog? Oh my gosh. I can't believe this. Thank you, Ivan. I won't let you down. Oh, I know you won't. I believe in you. This is good. But I got a few ideas to make these things even better. May I? Yeah, of course. I'm thinking onions, bell peppers, jalapenos, mayonnaise, the things- You! What are you doing here? Oh, no, wait. Don't tell me you actually hired this guy. Oh, I did. He's gonna help me turn my stand around. <laughs> well, that is like adding water to a sinking ship. Good luck. You know what? <clears throat> here, take this. When you finally go out of business, which you will, send your remaining customers over to me, Ed Giovanni. Okay, I will just leave that right there for you. Good day, gents. <laughs> you believe that guy? Yeah, he was on the interview me. Look, if you change your mind. No, 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 no. I stand by my decision. Looks good on you. Thank you. Feel good to wear one of these again. <laughs> I do need you to do one thing for me. What's that? Let's make that guy pay for what he did to you. Make him eat his own words, all right? Harold is more passionate than ever to help Ivan turn the hot dog stand around. Using his years of experience working in a kitchen, he starts experimenting with new toppings and creating his own style hot dogs. When his son takes a bite, he can't believe how good it is. Harold then expands the menu to include even more items, including corn on the cob, burgers, and sausages. In no time, customers start lining up so excited to try all the new food. The business slowly starts to pick up. As word spreads about all the amazing new food at the hot dog stand, more and more customers start to come, so excited to eat Harold's food. Even a news reporter comes out to do a story about the man who went from being homeless to being an amazing chef at this popular hot dog stand. Sure enough, the story ends up going viral causing even more customers to flock to the hot dog stand. And then one day, Giovanni happens to pay them all a visit. Hey, what's going on here? What's, what, what's with this line? Oh, you didn't hear? That man used to be homeless, but now he's running a booming hot dog stand. The food is incredible. It's such an amazing story. Oh, I guess that's why nobody's eating at my place anymore, huh? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I'm again. <clears throat> so, <laughs> I guess you do know how to cook after all, huh? Yeah, I guess so. Well, judging by your line here, it looks like you're doing something, right? But listen, I was thinking, I feel bad about how I treated you before, you know, and um, why don't you come work for me at Giovanni's, huh? Really? Yeah. I thought you didn't want to hire me. Yeah, well, I, I, honestly, you know, things have um, gotten kind of slow at my place since you became the talk of the town, you know? <laughs> so, um, what do you say? Uh, thanks, but, uh, no thanks, we're happy here. Okay, whatever. You know what, since I'm here, why don't I try one of your hot dogs, see what all the fuss is about, huh? Sure, but, uh, you're gonna have to wait in line. You want me to wait? You want the, the Giovanni to wait? This is ridiculous. Get out of my way. 
Hey, boys, how's it going? Great. Those have exploded, man. Check it out. There you go. Oh. I'll tell you what. Why don't you just go ahead and keep that? What? What are you talking about? This is your money. Well, I did the math, and based on all the sales from the last couple months, your 20% completely covers the cost of the hot dog stand. So, congrats. That money's yours now. Wait. Really? Oh my gosh. I can't believe this. It's going to change our lives. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Ivan. I, I don't know what to say. Please, please, it should be me thanking you. I've actually been able to open up two more hot dog stands because of all the money that you made me. <laughs> that makes me so happy to hear. I guess it's true. Kindness that you put into the world as a way of coming back to you. Thank you. Promise she'd make it this time. Give me your notes by the end of the day. My daughter has a school play tonight, remember? What's more important, school play or your job? You were supposed to be here two hours ago. You want to give that promotion to someone else that's going to put in the hours.